Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to add the retouch to your past color lot. You know the past color lot from uh, Josh Peckwith and it's a wonderful patch. You can add uh, different uh, lots from your Lightroom pre preset but uh, the problem was that you can't add so easily a retouch but there is a solution for that and the solution came from uh, this comment it gives me the right hint to um, to avoid that problem and uh, say uh, thank you so much for your help uh, because uh, in my last video that I made um, I didn't know how to fix it but now I can start and show you um, how to add a retouch to your fast color lot. Let's start and enjoy the process. We need three different uh, objects in our scene. We need at first a rectangle for the whole scene for the color lot, then uh, one for the retouch and another one for another face mesh for the color lot for the, the face and we start uh, with the classic uh, rectangle you see maybe in one of my tutorials or other tutorials before a rectangle and fill it with a whole screen this is our uh, color lot um, for the scene and go to material, double click on that and call it color lot matte so we know what we are doing here right here and from standard go to flat because we don't want the interaction with our lights right here okay that's awesome and now um, add uh, the fast lot color lot into your scene and go to show hide patch editor and the patch editor is right here i put, make this a little bit uh, smaller and fast a color lot via drag and drop into the scene go to now we need our a lot and our texture from our camera at first we create the texture uh, from for from our camera it's about uh, click on camera texture extraction go right here and now you see the camera texture zero put this into your scene add the um, color lot you want to use material in my case it's the cool light lot you see in one of my tutorials before um, if you want to know how to create this LUT or how to um, avoid uh, the major um, mistakes, uh, please watch uh, this uh, tutorial right here. And now uh, we need our texture, texture right here. So this one, it's flat. That's important. And what you also want to do is with the color lot, go to manual compression, no compression. Great. Now go to camera extract, uh, camera texture and put it in right here and the cool light lot here and connect it with it. So now you see the lot when you Put the visibility on and off see the difference and now what we want to do is create the um, retouch and we i put, took the visibility um, off so because uh, with this one you can't see the um, retouch so this one off and we want to just test the retouch before we uh, combine all of our any ele ele elements okay start with a face mesh and uh, make sure make sure the face mesh is down below the canvas so the canvas is above the face mesh and this one this or the face tracker this is our uh, face mesh for our retouch uh, re 
touch, go to that retouch material, create a new one for a retouch, go to retouch or call it retouch mat. You can also add the name right here. And now uh, you go to retouch and you see a retouch not the best skin I know with a retouch it's a lot it's a way better it's okay I, I think it's also so okay but but retouch but you see when I uh, put the visibility um, from our color lot uh, rectangle on the retouch disappear you see more details uh, in my face so <laughs> And we want to add our retouch to our um, color lot. You need another uh, face mesh and uh, put the um, color lot onto your face mesh. So add a new face mesh. And this is our, put the face mesh of course into oops, to our scene and down below uh, of our retouch. And it calls this color a uh, lot mesh. And go to material, I create a new material. And this one is our color lot mesh two. And go on like in the uh, canvas uh, situation, like here before, uh, go make sure that is at flat yay <laughs> and now we create a second fast lunch so you can copy that one or just via drag and drop add another face um, color fast color lot into the scene and now we create uh, like in this case before we create a face tracker texture extraction from our face tracker you uh, for the rectangle you uh, add uh, you create a camera texture and for our face mesh you need a face tracker texture extraction from our your face tracker go to put this one also into your scene and go to your color lot mesh add the texture to your scene and now go at the texture from your face mesh and the latch. Great. And put this on. And you see it works. When I go to this run right here, you see um, that your Retouch is working, but there are um, some mistakes um, or not some kind of weird things that happens right here. And um, you, now we fix the, this uh, problems right here. We want to make this right here smoother. So the, you need to add a texture to your scene, this one face mesh mask at this one into your textures and now go to the alpha and add the yes add these uh, the face mask to your scene and now you see before after so after but you see the problem right here. And what I do wrong before was that I go to my face mesh and um, put this right here on. But uh, that's not uh, the right, um, uh, that's not the answer. <laughs> you go to your face tracker texture and put this one on. and uh, you see it disappear. But now there's 
some little problem with uh, the depth so make sure that that you are going to uh, 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 to the uh, this one to the color lot mesh and depth and now your um, your retouch is perfect I just want to show you how t what happened when you um, make uh, the switch between face tracker and uh, Canva this funny because uh, I think why it's happened is uh, you have this alpha mask and it's my it's kind of blurry uh, you see when you if you see the um, the uh, normal color underneath that so make sure that the Canva is over the face tracker and so you have a wonderful great and easy retouch to your face or easy solution for this little problem and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much uh, to Josh Peckwith uh, he created this uh, fast lot and uh, make sure you watch his tutorials and uh, maybe donate uh, as a, a coffee him a coffee or something like that um, for his uh, free work we can we all can use and it's very awesome and uh, well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your help your inspirations and you are really motivating me to keep going with my tutorials have great ideas great questions please share uh, the tutorials with Ding. your best friends and well Make sure if you like this tutorial, please uh, leave a like and yes, thank you so much and enjoy the process.